you ever wake up like you know like you wake up and you look at your phone like you're not supposed to do but like you do anyways and you have something that just like immediately is like slightly stressful or like you have to deal with it like right then and so you're there like on your phone dealing with it or you get up and then you have to deal with it and like the the stress and the anxiety just kind of like bleeds into the rest of your day <sighs> That's kind of where we are right now but I was really 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 excited to film this video and like we dealt with the thing right so like we're good now. Hello we are back to our non-tortured poets department content we still have some swifty content tortured poets videos coming out in the next few weeks but from here on there will be a swifty video and a non-swifty video for the next few weeks for those of you who are not here to just hear about Taylor Swift because on this channel we talk about all thrifty swifty creative things check out some of the hundreds of videos that are up on this channel if you would like to get a vibe for what that looks like but today we are going to be talking about the idea of a personal style. I feel like that's been a buzzword on TikTok like in the past month or so. I've just seen people like kind of commenting on it and talking about it and I wanted to sit down and kind of figure out what that means to me and what mine is because it's just a concept that I have been like coming back to and thinking around a lot because like I know it when I see it, right? Like I'll be at a thrift store or I'll see an outfit um, in an ad or something or I'll see someone wearing something on social media and I'm like, mm, mm, that's so me. And not even like, I like that, but like, that is so me. Like I would wear that. And so this is to kind of play around and ask some questions and pull some outfit pieces and create some outfits and look at some of the outfits that I already love to identify some more narrow ideas about what my personal style looks like so that I can work within it and have fun with it more. It's not like, I'm not seeing it as like boxing myself in, it's defining what I already feel good in and gravitate toward. And I feel like a personal style is something that's so, 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 so specific to each person because style is indeed a form of communication. If I could put that like in an artistic way, like framed in my closet, I absolutely would. Feel free to watch this TikTok. This is like the TikTok that really made me be like, I want to make a video about this. I'm going to go through like this process. And so I might as well make a video of it. Feel free to watch this TikTok. It was very inspiring to me along with a bunch of other like personal style ones that I've saw, seen. Um, but like the way she laid it out and the steps that she gave were just so like, they just really clicked with me. And one of the things that she said that just like absolutely like hit, um, like I picture like, it like hit my brain and it was like the um, the star power up in Mario Kart and it was just like dancing and going rainbow and I was like, yes, yes, tell me more, we're on the same page. So she said that style is a form of communication. It is the most constant form of communication that's been developed by you and your experiences and your perceptions, not only in your life, but with like different garments and different pieces of clothing. Listening to that now, I feel like that sounds really weird. And so I wanted to explain kind of what I meant. I feel like when you look back at your life most people can think of the different like ways that they have had to wear clothing or that they've chosen to wear clothing that have worked for them and that have not worked for them that they have liked and that they have not liked that have made them feel comfortable and that have made them feel not comfortable and like even the specific pieces of clothing that have like made you feel yourself and good and like comforted you and ones that have made you feel like the opposite and a personal style isn't something that needs to be developed from zero it's like something that like you already have it's like a personality like it exists it's just like something Sussing out and defining it for yourself is like kind of hard and what people mean when they say develop a personal style I think is more like become aware and tuned into the things that you gravitate towards and have a language to be able to describe it so that you can then put those things into action when you are looking for clothing pieces or trying to put together an outfit when you're feeling lost. It's like something that you can come back to. It's like psychoanalyzing your clothing choices to a point. And I am just a sucker for a psychoanalysis. <laughs> I really do like pretty much all of my clothes at this point, but I still stand in the middle of my bedroom being like, I, I don't know what we're gonna wear. I don't, 
no. And so I feel like having words for things that I already feel good and comfortable in and like just ways to define that and like a way to communicate with myself <laughs> about what I like instead of just being like that outfit. I liked that outfit. We can't wear that outfit though because those leggings are dirty. Should we wear different leggings? I don't know if I want to wear different leggings. Like that's kind of what we're doing now. It's also kind of like a personality test thing in my mind because like I said clothes are a way that we show up and communicate and it's something that like really only humans have developed and do like putting on garments and making those choices for different reasons and it's so significant in our lives and in our culture so you get dressed and you make choices in order to feel the most comfortable in different ways and so I feel like I'm going to be trying to like put words to those choices. So the way some people have described it is that like your personal style is like a cake um, or like a pantry. They use a lot of food metaphors, but like some things are seasonings and some things are like main ingredients. So I'm going to try and find a list of words and kind of rank them in terms of importance. Then I am going to settle on five outfits that best define my personal style. That is our framework. That is our goal. Let's go. Okay, so I'm literally just typing in style words into Google and seeing, oh yeah, personal style words. There are tons of them. Okay, so I'm just going to start listing the ones that I feel like resonate with me. A few moments later. I don't like these words. Experimental effortless. Well, don't we all want to look effortless? See, this is hard. One minute, 37 seconds later. I'm getting a couple. Edge is a good one. Clean is another. It's the way I'm hesitating to put comfortable because I want to feel comfortable, but I don't necessarily need everything I'm wearing to look comfortable. I just, in fact, it's actually kind of great if it looks uncomfortable but it is that's kind of peak mm, so maybe structured we are gonna put effortless because that's true i don't like having it really gives me kind of the ick you know those games that you used to play online where you would like dress up the girl i don't like when i when there's an outfit where it feels like you've like filled in every single category like coco chanel take one thing off before you leave the house every day that'll make your outfit look good it's like it's like playing on the effortlessness and i do i do definitely try and do that um put together how do you do put together and effortless at the same time i don't know is it put together to have something like falling off your shoulders, but like, that's how it's supposed to be. Am I thinking about this too much? Professional is definitely not one of them. I've learned that. Sultry rebellious. Okay, so we have our words. I've collected this pile of words. And so what I think we're gonna do now is kind of like rank them based on like whether I feel like they're main ingredient or I feel like they're like a sprinkle word. We are here now. And so let's go through how we got here. Our base words like that I feel like make up like the cake part of our cake are Californian, beachy, casual, tomboy, feminine, effortless, glamorous, and put together. I really like feeling like I am someone who you could see from afar and be like, that's a vibe, that's an outfit. I understand what the deal is, but I also am someone who like doesn't wanna put like 10 things on in the morning and doesn't wanna like live life wearing like 10 things that I have to like make sure are in the right place and stuff. I do wanna be like livable and comfortable. And also I live somewhere where it's like kind of warm and windy and I tend to go to the beach a lot. And so I need to be able to wear shoes that I can just kinda like take off. Um, and so I wear a lot of Birkenstocks. And so I feel like those things all kind of mesh into these words. I do feel like I very much dress like where I'm from. There's kind of like an athleisureness um, 
to a lot of it. Like I wear a lot of leggings and crop tops and sports bras um, with just like something like light and long sleeved and oversized over. I feel like that's like a very coastal moment. And it's true, I do wear like that very thing like to walk my dog at the beach or to go to the beach um, a lot. I have a lot of like oversized t-shirts and like, and like bike shorts, kind of like ripped up like older shorts that I'll just like throw on and have as an outfit in the summer. I do love a good dress. I love a good like something like this where it's like a skirt and then like kind of an off the shoulder um, long sleeve thing that you couldn't necessarily get away with wearing in like Minnesota. I also love a like a visible undergarment and not like, not in a whale tail way, but like in a kind of like exactly what I'm doing right now. Like I have this like little lacy bralette and you can only see some of it, but like, I don't think about the fact that like my bra straps are showing right now. I have learned. <laughs> I've learned that people do. I love um, a tank that you can see like the bra under it. I love like through the armholes. I have some that I bought like that, but more that I've like cut and like bleached and like done stuff to to look like that. Um, I have a lot of like cutesy bras, like lacy ones like this. I have like a whole stack of, and then I have my Calvin Klein bras that I like the band of. And I have some like just like cute black sports bras that I will wear as like short as like as like shirts essentially. Um, and I'll like maybe put something over them, but sometimes I won't. And I feel like that is a very beachy Californian casual thing. Um, I almost put athleisure, but it's not even so much that it really is just more casual because the thing is the shoes I'm wearing are not always sneakers. And when they are sneakers, they're like street sneakers. They're not my running sneakers. And I do have cute running sneakers and that is a look sometimes, but more often than not, it's like a white, it's like a clean white, like I have um, some chunky Adidas right now or like the Steve Madden ones that I really want, like ones like those, they're not athletic shoes or or I'm gonna be so honest more often than not, it's my Birkenstocks. You can sue me, you can sue me for the Birkenstocks, I don't care. Me and my Birkenstocks are going to keep rocking and rolling and that's just my West Coast privilege. <laughs> Although I wore the hell out of my Birks in Florida too, so it's not just us. I have casual and semi-formal there because I feel like a lot of the things I wear are either too casual for something that you're supposed to be in like business wear, but like too nice for something that like, if they said dress casual, they'd be like, girl, what are you wearing? And I get, again, I like what I'm wearing right now. It's a long black maxi skirt with a cropped gray sweater, um, a little lace bralette underneath and some necklaces. Um, and just like my hair in this little metallic clip with my earrings. I love this outfit. If I could choose, I would put like little um, kind of like Mary Jane slingbacks with it um, or even kind of actually some of the bedazzled um, translucent ballet flats. I feel like this is like, again, like a little too nice. Um, when people say casual, it looks like a little bit too like, I don't know, effortful in some way, but it's like, oh, well your shoulders are showing and you can't wear those shoes as like a cropped sweater, it's not a real sweater. I don't know. I found most of my outfits don't seem to qualify for anything except for the like mostly work from home, show up on set creative job um, that I have. So I feel like semi-formal and casual. Um, like I said, I have a lot of leggings, a lot of like oversized long sleeve shirts that I like to like throw over things to create kind of um, a layered moment or like something to be able to take off and put on um, because you know, your girl gets sweaty. That reason I also put, I put both feminine and tomboy because I would definitely say that my style leans more feminine, but just as I've gone through life and even like in my astrological chart, not to get into being that astrology girl, even though I definitely like am a little bit, I have a lot of masculine energy in my chart, even though I am distinctly a feminine presenting person um like I'm very drawn to like I said like the oversized button-up the pieces of masculine wear in feminine outfits like the trouser like the loafer I love a flannel I absolutely love a flannel and so I feel like tomboy and feminine both kind of have to be in there together and then glamorous and put together those are just things that are really like in my head I feel like to me looking put together is glamorous like you could be wearing like leggings and a t-shirt and like some sneakers and some like sunnies 
but I feel like there is a way for that to be glamorous. It's like the intention behind it. I definitely like have seen people that I think look super glamorous with some like crew socks and chunky dad sneakers and their bike shorts. Like they're giving Princess Diana and like I thought she looked glamorous. They look clean and put together and like they're comfy and them and living their life and they know what they're doing. And so to me, like that is kind of glamorous, but there is also sort of a little bit of a drama element that I like to have in my outfits. I definitely feel like, I feel like a character in my outfits, but like that character is myself. I feel like every outfit I have is definitely representative of a piece of myself that I feel like is prominent and that I know very well. And so having the entire outfit look like a full thought um, even if it doesn't have, you know, like a bracelet, a watch, rings, a belt, a necklace, a headband, sunglasses, like all of the accessories possible and like all of the different garment options. I feel like having an outfit look like a full thought is put together and is glamorous to me. And okay, so now we have our like second tier and these are kind of like the frosting and the filling of the cake. Like they're definitely like present, but I wouldn't say they're like the foundation, um, like biggest things. Like this is kind of like my rising sign, um, my rising sign and my moon sign. And then the um, base words were kind of like a sun sign. A lot of different analogies for this we're getting into, but the words that we have are drama, free spirited, edgy, sleek, clean, structured. And then the ones that I added were detailed and harsh. I, <laughs> there's a TikTok I made where I'm like, so when I get dressed, I am dressing for a little version of me that may see me out gallivanting doing my little things and I want that little version of me to think that I am either the nicest movie star she's ever seen or someone who gets paid to seduce men and kill them. Um, and each outfit is kind of, it might be completely on one end of the spectrum, completely on the other, but somewhere, somewhere in that, that's what we are going for. And so I feel like the words harsh and free spirited <laughs> are kind of the opposite sides of that spectrum. So sometimes we are trying to, for lack of better words, serve cunt. Um, I am trying to look like someone who might cut your head off, um, but she'll do it with a blade that like comes out of a tube of red lipstick and it'll be really fast and like no blood will even hit the floor. But then sometimes I wanna be like that girly on the beach with her roller skates, like in like Barbie last summer. You know, there's kind of a spectrum there um, and each outfit I think can like fit in a point on that spectrum. So then going from there, drama, I feel like that kind of goes back to what I was saying about an outfit being a full thought. I mean, not every single one of my outfits is like dramatic, don't get me wrong, but I feel like there's an element to most of my favorite outfits that gives just like a little touch of something like extra or a little touch of something that's like different, like wearing a necklace like this instead of just like a basic gold pendant or having a super long coat or like a big puffy one or um, like textured leggings, something that's just like a little bit extra. And I feel like that also connects to the word detailed. Like I like all of my jewelry to be gold. I do not really wear silver jewelry. Um, I like it all to match. And then I like all my hair clips to be metallic in gold tones as well. And so you will not catch me slipping on the details in that department, but also I am obsessed with clothes that do have little things that are like extra details. Like if it has like a teddy like fabric patch on it that I could tell took a really long time to like mix all of the colors and like make that design, I am in love with it. Like anything that has something extra and special, I think is really cool. If I love the buttons on something, there was something at the thrift store like a month ago and the buttons were Christmas trees and it didn't fit me and ultimately Ultimately, I don't think I would have worn it, but the fact that it had Christmas tree buttons, I was like, that's who I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be the person who's pulling up in December who has Christmas tree buttons on her sweater because that's cute and cool and like a funky little detail that's like, it doesn't like slap you in the face, but it's there and you know and you notice and it changes the vibe of the outfit and it's, and it's effortless, it's glamorous, it's sleek, it's put together. Edgy kind of goes into the like tomboy of it all that I was talking about earlier, but even more in the kind of like black band t-shirt uh, direction. And I say that because I have 
I'll put the number on screen of black band t-shirts that I have here um because it's a lot and whenever I am looking for like a comfortable black t-shirt to wear I have a lot of options um in different cuts and lengths and sizes and music styles that I would like to represent that day it's actually kind of ridiculous and I will continue to buy more they are what I feel comfortable in I feel very much myself in a pair of leggings or bike shorts and one of my band t-shirts I could talk to you about each and every one of them and I love them each dearly but not only that like I have always just been someone who leaned towards the color black um and like just I don't know sort of the darker things I was very much an emo kid um in high school and middle school and have definitely still retained some of my chemical romance pieces of merchandise and that is still very much a part of who I am you can always catch me in a dark flannel and beanies are not really a thing right now but the second they come back I have a stash of them um, from floppy to tight fitting. I have it all. So I think that's kind of where edgy fits in and then kind of the opposite, sleek and clean. I've just always wanted to look like, again, like my outfit was a complete thought and that I had things that I took care of and that I knew what I was wearing and why. In terms of structured, I think it's it's not that I don't like things that are flowy and layered. I really do, but I tend to not like to have more than like two layers. I just don't like, that's just like too much going on on my body. Like I don't want it. And so I tend to really like things that are like very, like I love like a turtleneck and then like a double breasted, um, like long blazer coat over it. It has like a nice clean structure to it and there's some layering, but it's not too much going on. Like I don't want, if I have like a double breasted, um, like long blazer coat or even just like a blazer, I don't want the shirt underneath it to have a collar because that's like a little bit too much for me. I need it to all just kind of be streamlined down. Um, I don't know, maybe this is just because I live in a warm weather climate, but even when I lived in New York um, and I was like, it was cold, like I would wear like a tight fitting turtleneck and then I would put like a sweater over it and then I would wrap a scarf around and then I would put like my jacket over that. I wouldn't want things that were like falling out of the bottom of the jacket. They would all be kind of the same length and they would all be really easy to like, put on and take off and like adjust the layers. I guess I just don't like feeling uncomfortable in my clothing. I don't like begging in my head to take something off and not being able to. And so I feel like my outfit choices very much like reflect that. So I don't know if the words for that are sleek and clean and structured, but that's what I came up with. And then in terms of structured, um, I just like, it's kind of um, the, like the suiting pieces. Like I like formal structured pieces of clothing. And then I like to kind of mix them with something that's a little bit flowy. Or like I said, like the band t-shirt or the trousers or like the blazer over something that's a little bit flowier um, or like something that's really big and puffy over something that's super tight. I like things that kind of have a little bit of a contrast to them. I don't like things that bleed together. I feel, I'm so afraid a lot of what I'm saying is super contradictory, but I feel like if you're someone who thinks about outfits a lot, then you probably understand what I'm saying. So then on our top tier, this is the sprinkles, the cherries, the little dollops of whipped cream on which the cherries are placed. We have the words witchy and snarky. And I... What else is there to say? I like I like to have a little sprinkle, a little sprinkle of witchiness. Um, you know, I feel like I would argue like the long black kind of like Morticia Adams um maxi skirt crystal necklaces and like my favorite crystal to wear is black tourmaline and so it's like this big chunk, like this black rock um that kind of looks like a rosary, but it's like this like dark black shiny rock um on it that's very witchy i definitely have some crystal oriented jewelry going on as well as some kind of just like i don't know just like darker vibes i really love an all black outfit and like layering different textured pieces of black fabric on top of each other and if worse comes to worse and I really don't want know what to wear that day but like I for my soul cannot wear leggings and a t-shirt we will just pop on something that makes us feel like the cousin of Morticia and call it a day and it's never not worked out I feel so good in just an all black from head to toe outfit um some gold jewelry and some sunglasses I feel 
protected, I feel myself, I feel powerful, and I feel ready. For what? I could not tell you, but I'm there. Um, and then snarky, the best way I can describe that, I just love like a cutesy, flirty little piece of attitude um, in an outfit. And I think this started with um, the Happy Bunny t-shirt and the Bobby Jack monkey um, when I was younger, if you're familiar shout out. Um, but now it's kind of progressed into um, the Lana Del Rey heart sunglasses and the um, baseball hat I sat I have that just says the word peachy um, in like cursive little pink letters. Um, and they're just kind of like flirty little like uh, um, pieces <laughs> in an outfit. That's the best way I can describe it. If it wasn't flirty because it's not necessarily like sexual it's just kind of like a little silly and a little like but like aware of being a little silly and there's like a slight hint of an attitude to it and so snarky is the word that we have i think this is a good cake i would eat this cake i i i supposedly am this cake and so let's see if we can figure out some outfits that really like encapsulate this like if i was in a cartoon like these are the five outfits that like they would take the time to draw for me okay so this is the first one and i have shown like a similar like pairing to this on the channel before but i'm not even sorry because i love it um i am obsessed with it this ensemble is kind of the base of what i've been wearing pretty much like the beginning of this entire year since it was warm enough to wear like a short sleeved um, like vest like this without something on top of it. And yes, I did choose to wear my Birkenstocks with this because I could just so easily see myself wearing this literally anywhere. This black skirt I'm wearing it right now too is so incredibly comfortable. I like the flowiness of it. I like the kind of like, I don't know, I just feel like a witch in the forest would wear it or a sorceress would wear it or I could see myself like running through the corridors of a castle in it and so it just gives this sort of like drama witchy element but then with the black vest on top I feel like it has that all black element that it, like again just like it just sprinkles the tiniest bit the tiniest bit of witchiness um on top and then we have the gold jewelry the black sunglasses to match the all black outfit i feel like that is like the sleekness the clean we didn't really do anything with our hair um there's another thing that i remember i think this was from like miley cyrus i think this was in her miley cyrus miles to go book actually she was like well if you do a full face of makeup then don't do then don't like spend an hour on your hair if you spend an hour on your hair don't do a full face of makeup and like do whatever you want but also to a point I see what you're saying and so yeah i don't know if i have like full accessories and like sunglasses which i like kind of always have sunglasses glasses are like one of my favorite accessories since we have like the bracelet and the necklaces then we didn't do anything with our hair like i said i think the all black just kind of like ties together with like the sleek and like the classy and the witchiness not that like birkenstocks are classy but then that's like the beachy californian like casual element but they are black birkenstocks and so they match like the all black element and i feel like that also ties in with like the sunglasses with like the warm weather element and like the sleevelessness of it and the structuredness of the vest um but also the like kind of like structured but unstructuredness of the skirt because the skirt's very like form-fitting but it's also like flowy so it's like sun somewhere in the middle but then i feel like it ties in with the structuredness of the top to create like a nice balance i'm just in love with this outfit and i'm very secure in it being the first of my five it is very number two is realistically like if I, I don't know why, I always think when I say I'm a cartoon character, I think of like the Fairly Odd Parents um, and like Timmy Turner and his like little like red or like pink like shirt and like jeans. I think realistically, this is what my cartoon character would wear. And I think it's what my like little Snapchat bitmoji person is wearing. And it's these green kind of like slightly textured leggings, this black cropped baby tee from Target that I think I have four and counting of now and white sneakers with some simple gold jewelry and sunglasses. Other than black, I think green is probably, or maybe red. I It kills me when I think like, when people are like, so what are your favorite colors to wear? And they're black and red and green. And that just sounds like, Christmas, um, red and green, but like those are like my favorite colors to wear. We're really starting to push into blue in the past year or so, but yeah, green, um, especially this like foresty green of these leggings is my favorite. I love these. Um, these are like 
really truly some of my most worn pieces of clothing all in one outfit. This is so easy and I just feel so myself and comfortable in it. It's like slightly um like athleisure -y, but like again the sneakers aren't necessarily like an athletic sneaker so I definitely think it's like casual and like somewhere between feminine and masculine because it has like the little baby tee and like definitely like the midriff showing but it's still just kind of like leggings and a t-shirt and even though it's casual I do feel like it looks sleek and clean and like a full bottle. The odds of you catching me wearing any of these at a Trader Joe's are really high, but especially this one and the next one. So number three is this thrifted skirt and then another one of the Target baby tees. This one in this kind of like olive green color. I love wearing it with the skirt because it kind of picks up on the green in the skirt. I love my thrifted, I call them teacher skirts, um, just kind of like midi or maxi skirts with like a floral um, or like any sort of pattern on them. Bonus points if they have pockets or like buttons up the front. Again, we're just with some gold jewelry and we left the glasses out and did a little clip in our hair for this one just because I thought it fit with the kind of like, I don't know, like feminine flirty um, feeling of this with our heart sunglasses. And then I actually went with the taller boots for this because that's kind of what's on trend right now is like the longer skirt with the taller boots. And I do feel like, I wouldn't say I like am like a slave to trends necessarily, but I do kind of dabble in them and follow them a little bit. And these boots were definitely a part of that, even though like if you had asked me 10 years ago if I would wear these boots I definitely would have said yes um but the fact that they were like on sale now and I've been seeing a lot of outfits with people wearing them now is definitely like why I bought them because I too wanted to wear those outfits um and so I felt like that was kind of like a representative of that within this outfit because before I definitely would wear some shoes that are going to be featured in the other outfit but instead now I would definitely probably wear these taller kind of like go-go -go boots because that is kind of more what's on trend for the moment they're very Sabrina Carpenter I like them a lot but yeah I don't know I just feel like I should have like some pink bubble gum in my mouth feel like popping a bubble um I just feel so like cute and girly um and it's definitely like something I switch out just like a chop a top and some boots and one of my teacher skirts like any pair of boots any one of the teacher skirts any top um cropped not cropped tight not tight and like I just kind of like mess with that outfit recipe a lot <laughs> so second to last I was feeling a little stressed but then I realized that like it's so weird I thought this was going to be hard but actually there as I went I kind of was like oh well that piece has to be included oh well that has to be included oh well this outfit recipe has to be included because like <laughs> duh like that's just so who we are um and then before I knew it we were at four and then I was like oh well we need this piece what shirt would go with that and then I was like oh we said we needed this shirt bing bang boom together and it turned out that it was an outfit that I'd absolutely worn before so it wasn't actually that difficult um so for number four I thrifted this long coat during COVID this like houndstooth plaid situation and I love it i feel so cute in it and i love 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 wearing it with this lace trim turtleneck because it has these cute little like flare outs at the wrists um with the lace trim and so when you pull it out from under the jacket it just gives this cute little effect i absolutely love it with some gold jewelry and then during the holidays i'll do like a red lip oh um, and then sometimes I'll do like a shiny black legging, but I decided to do these pleated black pants because I like the texture that they add. And then my favorite shoes, these stompy, chunky, these stompy, chunky black boots. Um, these are the boots that I would normally probably have worn with the skirt in the last outfit because I would normally wear those boots with like everything. Um, but the knee high boots have kind of been like coming back in the last year or so. And so I've been gravitating towards those go-go ones and then my like riding boots before that. Um, and then before that, it was like the thigh high ones. So really like it's kind of been all over the place, but I really do revert to these like, I call them my stompy boot because they have that really like kind of like chunky tread um, on the bottom, the teeth, if you will, but I love them. And I would be shocked if this outfit isn't somewhere on this channel in some iteration, um, but just the the Cruella de Vil motif of it all is very me. I like make a joke sometimes that like Cruella de Vil is kind of what I'm going for because I love black and white and red together so much and just kind of a very sharp, sleek, bitchy um, silhouette. And that's definitely what this is. <laughs> And then finally, I knew I had to have one of my band tees, my puffy fuzzy coat, and my crystal necklace. And then I realized that they all kind of went together in this like little bit of a like uh, almost famous sort of look. And this is so incredibly me. And again, I'm not sure I've shown like this outfit, like all these together on the channel, but I would absolutely wear this and have absolutely worn like this combo together before. I love the like slight edge to this with the band tee and like the crystal necklace 
and like the big puffy coat um, and the stompy boots. And then I just did these like faux leather kind of like disco pant leggings. And again, this is just such a like classic common combo for me, having a band tee and like a little necklace over it that makes me feel a little bit more edgy. And then if we're really feeling edgy, we'll put on our stompy boots. Um, usually there are some leggings and then we'll put a jacket over it and the jacket will kind of like tie together the vibe that we're going for. And honestly, this big fuzzy jacket has been my favorite as of late. And I just, I love, it can do so much for you. It can be giving groupie, it can be giving mob wife a little bit, it can be giving girly, um, it can be giving like, you know, fuzzy cozy. Um, it can do a lot for you and I have been having a lot of fun playing with it. So that is outfit number five. So that is kind of the review of my personal style. And like, I feel like these are all things that I knew, but I now have like a very distinct visual and like vocabulary for it. And I have our glorious little like cake that I feel like I can look back at here to like remember like things that I can pull from and like kind of do what I did creating these five outfits again, just being like, okay, well, what do we, what do we like? What do we gravitate towards? And like picking something that way and like building an outfit with one of these words on top of it for how I want to feel that day. I think this will actually be really useful in the future, this little cake we have. So I'm going to save him and I'm absolutely going to save the like videos of these outfits to look at later because I absolutely do that. So let me know what you guys thought of this video and what your like style words are. What do you resonate um, with, with the ones I said? And like, what are ones of your own that you resonate with that like I didn't even mention at all? So let me know what like your style words are and what your style kind of like turn off words are and if you loved or hated any of these outfits of course <laughs> thank you thank you thank you so very much for being here i've gotten kind of like a little bit of a wave of new subscribers in the past couple weeks so hello thank you so much for being here i cannot tell you how much it means to me i do see like the likes and the views and the comments and it does make a difference so thank you so much for being here it makes my heart so very happy and i cannot wait to see you guys in the next one if you did like this one feel free to like and subscribe if you'd like to be here for the next one and i will see you then. Mwah.